and welcome back to W Bricks and welcome into another Lego Ninjago video. We are back with the best and worst series here on the channel and today we're going to be doing part two of last night's video with the best Lego Ninjago Kai suits ever released. If you have not seen it, the worst video has already been released on my YouTube channel and you can check it out right now. There will be no spoilers in this video. So what you can do is watch this one all the way to the end and then you can check out the worst one after this and see which suits I thought were the worst. So if you enjoy this, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe down below with the notification bell on. If you enjoy this video, I'm sure you will enjoy tons more content that I release on my channel almost daily. Also, don't forget to drop a comment down below. I cannot wait to see what your favorite Ninjago Kai suits are. With that being said, guys, Let's dive right into today's video. If you did not see last night's video yet, just for a little context, we're only taking a look at the Kai minifigures that appear in the TV show. If it appears in the TV show and it has a minifigure, then it'll be in either this video or last night's video. We're not going into all the random minifigures that Kai has. If you've seen my full video checking out every minifigure in depth, uh, you would know that there's tons of random ones that have different face prints or different armor changes. We're not going into all that depth. We're just taking a look at the base suits that we see in the TV show. So with that being said, guys, let's go and dive into this video. Starting at 16th place, let's count our way all the way up to the best Ninjago Kai suit ever released. In 16th place here, guys, starting us off, I've got the Island Kai suit. The Island is one of the worst pieces of Ninjago media ever released, but it does one thing right, and that is create some absolutely gorgeous suits. This is the minifigure to introduce, of course, that beautiful headband design around Kai's hair. I absolutely love that piece. And the suit, the torso, the legs here just look so good with this Kai minifigure. I mean, they did an incredible job when it came to designing all of the island suits, but I think Kai's really stands out here. They did an absolutely phenomenal job with this minifigure, and it for sure deserves its 16th place next up here in 15th place i have to give it to the regular standard crystallized kai suit i love the way this one looks and i'm really not a fan of the legacy to season 16 style hood piece i don't like that hood piece whatsoever yet i think they did an incredible job with it here in season 16 crystallized i think it balances out really nicely here there's a good level of detail there on the top and it just looks really good with the suit here i still think that the og hoods are far superior but this hood ended up looking really nice on this suit speaking of the suit once again detail levels on the torso and the legs are just off the charts they look so good the dark burgundy the dark red of course with the regular red just look phenomenal on this minifigure they did an incredible job with him in 14th place, I have to give it to the Dragon Form Kai minifigure. And I absolutely love this minifigure. I think it's it's second place on the dragons. I like the Zane one the best, I think. But this one's right there in second place. I love this suit. I think it's really cool. Obviously, crystallized is not the best. It has a lot of issues with it when it comes to the show. But the minifigures are really, really incredible. And they did an incredible job here with this Dragon Form Kai. The transparent leg pieces and arms look absolutely phenomenal here, along with those beautifully designed wing elements. I think one thing that really hurts this minifigure is the fact that there's the blue Technic pins in the back. As long as you're not turning the minifigure around, you don't see them. But when you do, it looks really, really poor. Also, the face print under here is nice as well, of course, with that beautifully designed golden dragon hood piece. This one definitely deserved its 14th place here on the list. Okay, guys, next up here, 13th place. I have to give it to the Energy Kai suit. And this was a difficult one, really moving up here into these final ones, 13 and up. It was really, really difficult between so many of them. I, I could find ways to, you know, maybe move energy a little higher, maybe move it a little lower here once we get up into 13. I, it, it's so hard. It's so hard between these final ones, guys, because they're so good. I mean, really, even all 16 of these were fabulous. And, and some of the ones in last night's video were still really, really good suits. It's so difficult with Kai here, but I had to put energy here. At the end of the day, he's still got a phenomenal level of detail on him. I mean, for 2012, guys, wow. Just seriously, wow. I love the hood piece here. I love the face print, torso print, leg print. Everything is just absolutely phenomenal about this minifigure. 
at the end of the day, I just have to rank him in what order I like him the most. And uh, he had to take 13th place. All right, next up here, guys, 12th place. I have to give it to the Skybound Kai suit. I love this suit. I think it's really, really clean. I mean, it is just clean, clean. But the detail on the torso isn't my favorite, especially compared to the ones that we're going to be taking a look at here in the next few levels. It's still good. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I love the armor piece in gold here. I just like the next ones better. And like I said, torso print, torso style is just not my favorite, especially in comparison to the ones we're going to look at next. But... It's still a great suit. It still looks good. And I do like how it flows between all the other ninja suits as well. They're all kind of equal and similar in that sense. They're, they're all very, very alike, I should say. And I do like how they flow between one another. But I just couldn't rank it higher than 12th because I like the rest of them more. 11th place, guys. It has to go to the pilot suits. First off, the hood piece. It's just perfection. This is the ninja hood element. And really... They were never able to recreate this as good as it originally was. This is the ninja hood piece element. It is absolutely perfect. Yeah, the ZX one is good. In the future, the dual molded ones with Deep Stone and Skybound are good. But I still think that this is probably the best hood element ever released. And it's the original one from 2011. Some suits are simple that we talked about last night. And they're simple, but they just don't look very good. They look blocky and cheap where this one is simple, clean, and it looks perfect for a ninja robe. I mean, ninja are not supposed to be totally flashy. You know, obviously these ninja are flashy, but most ninja aren't. And starting us off here in 2011, this was the perfect place to start. Even though it's 2011 though, it still has a really nice level of detail, but it's clean, it's simple, and it does the job just right. And it's not like some of the other ones that we looked at last night where they're simple. The newer simple ones seem blocky. All of the, the designs on it seem blocky, and this one just seems very smooth, very clean, very subtle. I don't know what it is. I hope that makes sense to you guys. It makes sense in my brain. I don't know if it makes sense to you guys, but uh, I love the suit. I love the pilots. I love the pilot suits. Such a great guy. Next up here on the list, guys, I have to give it to... Oh, this one. this one's so hard. It's, it's got to go to the jungle. It's got to go to the jungle Kai suit. I like this suit. I like this minifigure a lot. It's really clean. It looks really cool. I think the reason I like these so much uh, is because when you put them all together, they look so good. When you have all of the ninja together, this is such a clean lineup. But on their own, you know, they're all, they're still really, really good suits. I just have to rank it here in 10th place. I don't think I can put it any higher. And it, it's so clean. You know, once again, it's so unique in comparison to the other stuff that we had released at the time. And I love it for that. I love it for that. It's just, it's so, so good. I just can't rank it any higher. I can't rank it any higher. I want to, in my original chart, I had it ranked higher. Uh, but really analyzing here as I'm recording the video, I just, I, there was other ones that I think had to take higher places in this. I love this suit, but, and I love this minifigure, but uh, other ones have to be higher. Ninth place is going to the season two elemental kimonos. Wow, are these gorgeous. I mean, this is this is just gorgeous. Lego Ninjago right here. It's it's beautiful. It really is. The black, the gold, the red, it looks so perfect. I think I could have put this higher if the minifigure would have included the actual golden armor. Everybody just adds it with their extra pieces collection. But it, it, it was wrong that it was never included in the first place. Every one of them should have been included with golden armor. The golden ninja was... I don't get why Kai wasn't. I don't get why Jay wasn't. I don't get why Zane wasn't. I don't get why Cole wasn't. It doesn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense in 2013, and it doesn't make sense today. I like these robes. They're super clean, super cool. I know these are an absolute fan favorite, but I still like the other ones better. I still like other ones better here, guys. And uh, this is this is definitely a top-tier Kai suit. Remember, like I said, all of these suits here at the end are just absolutely fantastic. Uh, but I had to choose, and I think this one had to take this spot. Man, it's difficult, though. Just looking at it, isn't it gorgeous? All right, guys, we're getting up there. Eighth place, I'm giving it to the high school Kai minifigure, and I feel like this one could be higher. It's so difficult when you get the Kai minifigures here and you're like, you have to rank them, you know? It's, it's so difficult. But the high school Kai minifigure is one of my favorites. It's always been one of my favorites. I remember the day I got it. I mean, it was it was such, I mean, it was at, the, at that time, it was such a rare minifigure to find, and it still is. I mean, the minifigure is worth, actually, it's growing in value. Uh, it's worth about $55 to $60 now. And I remember when I was able to finally find mine on eBay. I mean, I was just overjoyed when I got mine. What was it? A few years ago, I got mine. 
I love this minifigure. I love Casual Kai. I want to see more Casual Kais. We've got so many Casual Jays and Nia and Cole and Lloyd. I don't, I don't want them at all. I want another Casual Kai. I think Kai, I guess we have... We have Blacksmith Kai, but that's not really casual Kai. Uh, we have Detective Zane, which I wouldn't say casual. It's a casual Zane. But we really only have just one casual Kai and Zane compared to, you know, let's see, two or three Jays, uh, two or three Coles, you know, a couple Nias for sure, a couple Lloyds. We're, we're missing another casual Kai. I need a casual Kai minifigure right now. I, I need it. I need it. It's so cool. Uh, also, this is one of the only Ninjago minifigures to have arm printing on it, which is nice as well. But seriously, this is such a clean minifigure. The best Ninjago movie minifigure ever released. It, it's just gorgeous. It really is. It, it is such a gorgeous minifigure. I could, I could sit there and I could look at it all day. It is that gorgeous. What a beautiful, elegant design. Seventh place, everyone. Oh my goodness, we're up to the top tier. I mean, these are, these are just... It's so difficult here, guys. Seventh place, I had to give it to the ZX suit. Obviously, a classic. A classic, a fan favorite. Everybody loves the ZX suit, and I mean, I can tell why. Of course, of course, I remember when they released this back in 2012, and everybody was just mind blown. I mean, I remember going to school, and everybody's like, oh my gosh, Kai has golden armor. When Ninjago was like the thing back in the day, I mean, this, this, when they introduced the armor for the ninjas, it was mind blowing. I mean, everybody was just blown away by the new armor, the golden highlights on Kai, the silver on Jay and Cole. You know, everybody was blown away by it. I love this suit. It's so iconic, so clean. Uh, it, it really was such a cool step up from the pilots, of course. You know, you go from the really simple ninja robes to then all of a sudden the ninja have these really fancy golden and silver suits, and it was just mind-blowing. And I love these minifigures to this day. They're definitely top-tier minifigures. They are so well-designed, especially for 2012. I mean, wow, this is a gorgeous minifigure. Sixth place now, everybody. This is just, this is a classic right here. It was my long-standing favorite. It was my favorite up until 2015. Uh, but I absolutely love this minifigure. It is just aged so well as well. I mean, it, it is, it's just, it is flawless, guys. It really is. And so here in sixth place, I've got the DX Kai minifigure. And I mean, for 2011, guys, the print quality is just off the charts here. You got Kai's name on the back. Once again, beautiful, beautiful hood design there on the Kai minifigure. Uh, torso and leg print is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I mean, you just can't do better than this, especially at that time. DX Kai is just a, a top tier Ninjago minifigure overall. Out, out of all of them, it's a top tier. They did an incredible job with all the DXs, but... Kai DX really, really stands out. And even though he's one of the cheapest DX minifigures, he's still one of the most gorgeous. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. Top five, everyone. That's right, the top five. In fifth place, I've got the Season 3 rebooted Stone Armor Kai minifigure. And I love this one. I love this one. This one is fantastic. This is like the only suit we get to see with Kai with the silver shoulder pads. And it looks so good. It looks so good. Uh, I love the shoulder pads here with Kai with the half mask and the hair. I think it looks really good. He also has an exclusive face print under there. Torso print looks great. Leg print looks great. I mean, all around, this is a solid minifigure. They did an incredible job with this one. And it's too bad that not many people could get their hands on it since it was released in that exclusive Target box. It's just, it's gorgeous, guys. It really is. The Kai minifigures. People ask me all the time, W. Who has the best minifigure selection? Like, in total, whose minifigure selection looks the best? It's easily Kai. And I'm not just saying that because Kai's my favorite ninja. If you look at just the beautiful design aspects, the beautiful color combos that they've done with Kai, he is by far the most beautiful minifigure uh, combination or, or set of minifigures that ninja LEGO has ever released. I mean, it is absolutely breathtaking to see them all in person together. I mean, I wish you guys could see it all in person. If I go to like Brick Fair or something, maybe I'll bring the Kai minifigures to display or or like the Jays or something so that you can see what it looks like when they're all together because it really is just breathtaking to see them all together. And this Kai minifigure is for sure, for sure deserving of his top five spot. All right, guys, fourth place. It, this, this one was, it was, 
it was kind of obvious, but also not obvious. Like I got to it, I was like, oh yeah, this 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 needs to be here. This needs to be here. It's going to the Sons of Garmadon Kai minifigure. I own like six of this minifigure. I talk about it all the time. I own like six or seven of this minifigure at this point. I love this thing. Every time I see it for a good price on Bricklink, I'm like, yep, I need another one. Yep, I need it. Am I gonna do anything with it? No. Do I want it? Yes. Yes. I love this Kai minifigure. It is fantastic. It's simple, but it's the good simple once again. And the hood piece. When this hood piece was originally revealed for the Ninjago movie, I did not like it whatsoever. But in the full red color scheme right here, it is just, I, I mean, it, it really is breathtaking. I mean, I'm saying that a lot, I guess, here in this video, but I mean, it, it really is just beautifully designed. The designers went absolutely crazy with this suit here. And I just, I love it. I love a lot of the Sons of Garmadon suits. I think Nia's is one of my favorites, of course, as well. Jay's is one of my favorites. Uh, Lloyd's is one of my favorites. But this Kai one really stands out. I know it's a fan favorite all around. A lot of people love this Kai suit, uh, and it is well-deserved. This is an, an absolutely incredible suit, and it definitely deserves its fourth-place spot. All right, guys, top three. In third place, I've got the Day of the Departed robes for Kai. Oh, my goodness, do I love this minifigure. Oh my goodness, do I love this minifigure. It is just, it is just flawless, guys. It's reminiscent of classic Ninjago at the same time as being modern, fresh, and clean. I mean, first off, the brown shoulder pad piece, which is the most expensive piece, uh, most expensive armor piece in all of Ninjago, I want to say, is just, is just perfect here with this. I love the dark brown shoulder pads. They look fabulous with the Ninja minifigures. But the inclusion of the brand new dual molded burgundy and bright red hood is just, it's perfect on its own. The torso, like I said, reminiscent of classic Ninjago, but still fresh, still clean. Leg print looks great. This is just a solid minifigure. It, it really is. It's solid. It is so perfect. It is so, I, I don't know how you could do it better. Maybe slap on an exclusive face print, but even there, it, it's just, it's, it's a perfect minifigure, guys. It's perfect. Top two guys, you already know. You already know. If, if you follow me, you know what these two are. In second place, it's going to the Hands of Time Kai. This is difficult for me to put this one here because I do feel like this suit is designed and more detailed and better than the first place. But the first place one, I just I can't I can't not put it at first place because it's been my favorite since it released. And I, I just the nostalgia base for it is also there for the first place one. Uh, but I can see first place going down to second and, and and this one going up to first. I go back and forth on them. It's so it's so difficult, guys, when it comes down to these. Uh, but seriously, the hands of time Kai is just I mean, it, I'm I'm speechless when it comes to this Kai. Most of the Hands of Times minifigures are the best minifigures for each of the ninja. It's just, the season isn't very good. It's got a lot of problems with the season. But the ninja minifigures are just, wow. They make up for it. The Kai here, once again, the detail on the torso and the legs and the back of the torso is just second to none. It really is second to none here. They did such an outstanding job creating this minifigure and i i don't know how they even sat down and designed this you know looking at some of the the minifigures we looked at last night it's like you can tell a complete difference in who designed what minifigures you can see who put the time and care into it and who didn't and and this shows that whoever designed this suit hats off to you man you put your time in you put your effort in you put your love your care and your hard work and you can tell it's definitely gone down as a fan favorite it, it, it is just absolutely perfect. And I think that this is probably the best designed suit Ninjago has ever and will ever release. And of course, in first place, I'm sure none of you are surprised if you've seen my content before. It's the Deep Stone Kai minifigure from season five. I think, like I said, the season seven obviously is far more detailed, you know, a, a better design. But this minifigure is just absolutely gorgeous. The solid black suits here for the Ninja in Season 5 with then just the hints of their color. I love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It gives that subtle ninja vibe. You know, most ninja, you know, the plain black, the, the subtle robes, nothing too crazy. Uh, but the red and then, of course, obviously the other ninja's colors, the green, the white, the, the blue, they look really good. But the red really pops here with the black. 
Torso print looks great. Back of the suit looks great as well. I love the fire emblem across the back here in like all red with a little bit of dark red in there. They did a really, really good job in designing this. Once again, you can tell the time, effort, and care went into this. And of course, that dual molded black and red hood piece is just, it, it's just it's breathtaking. I mean, this minifigure, once again, breathtaking. These minifigures are just so good. Uh, the, the people that designed it, once again, truly put their time, their hard work, and their care into this minifigure. And it shows, and it, it will show for years and years and years to come because I don't think there will ever be a, a minifigure that'll top this or Hands of Time for me. You know, I, I have a hard time going back and forth between do I like Hands of Time better or the Deep Stone. And I, I, I always end up sitting back on Deep Stone. It's pretty solid for me. I've, I've always loved it. The day it released, I was like, well, see a DX Kai. Deep Stone Kai is my favorite. And it's been that way ever since. And, you know, Every time they release something, I get excited for it, but it, it never will stand up to this stuff. It'll There will never be a suit that's more detailed and better than the Hands of Time suit. There will never be a suit that I like more than the Deep Stone suit. I don't ever see it happening. Deep Stone is just absolutely flawless. It definitely deserves number one. Here we are at the end of the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this best and worst series here, taking a look at every Kai minifigure. Don't go anywhere, though, because there's going to be way more best and worst episodes here on the channel very, very soon, including here within the next couple days, the best and worst mechs video. I know it was supposed to come out a couple days ago. There was a problem with the video. It'll be out here this week, along with the requested. It was requested from a subscriber, so it'll be out here pretty soon. Uh, the... Cole video here instead of the Kai. So we're going to be taking a look at the Cole minifigures and then the Zane and the Jays. And uh, we've also got some reviews here on the channel. Uh, the Eiffel Tower I'm finishing up building right now. I just bought that a couple days ago. Excited to get that out for you guys. Along with the Eye of Sauron, which I've had built and I just have not gotten around to it yet. So that set will be out soon as well for a review. I'm excited to get all this content out for you guys. So you're not going to want to miss any of it. It's going to be crazy over here over the next couple weeks. And you guys are not going to want to miss a single video I release. So don't forget, hit the subscribe subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I typically upload almost every night at 11.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I, I love to see you guys there in the live premieres when these videos air. So big shout out to everybody in the premieres as well. Thank you all for the support on the channel as always. And I will see you all later on W Bricks. Just go!